wetlands cover 11.4 million Florida acres. That's about 29% of Florida. A higher percentage of wetlands than any other state in the lower 48. While Florida boasts 1,197 statute miles of shoreline and 2,276 statute miles of tidal shoreline, coastal wetlands account for just 10% of Florida's wetlands. The other 90% are freshwater wetlands. 55% are forested wetlands. Another 25% are marshes and emergent wetlands. While 18% are scrub shrub wetlands. Freshwater ponds make up the last 2%. The Everglades is Florida's crown jewel of wetlands. Florida's Everglades is the largest subtropical wilderness in the United States. From its headwaters in Kissimmee to its discharge into Florida Bay, the Everglades system traverses more than half the length of the Florida Peninsula. The Everglades is internationally designated a wetland of international importance, a World Heritage Site, an International Biosphere Reserve, and a specially protected area under the Cartagena Treaty. Sadly, the Everglades is home to 23 endangered species, yet it's also home to as many as 25 varieties of orchids, more than 300 bird species, over a thousand types of seed-bearing plants, and 120 tree species. If the Everglades is Florida's crown jewel of wetlands, then the Indian River Lagoon is the matching necklace. The Indian River Lagoon spans 40% of Florida's east coast, 156 miles north to south with a total area of 353 square miles. The most diverse estuary in North America supports many species, 2,200 animal species, 2,100 plant species, 370 bird species, and 685 fish species. 50% of Florida's East Coast fishing harvest comes from the Indian River Lagoon. And finally, springs give Florida the triple crown of wetlands. Florida has 33 first magnitude springs, more than any other state, more even than any other country. Florida's 700 plus springs pump billions of gallons of water into wetlands every day, supporting thousands of species both great and small. While Florida's wetlands are home to thousands of species, they also provide us humans with outstanding recreational, educational, and scientific opportunities. That's why Florida wetlands, the Everglades, the Indian River Lagoon, and Florida Springs are all part of Florida's Natural Wonders.